Good morning, everyone. Even though I'm unable to be there with you in person today, I wanted to make this short video to let you know that I'm certainly going to be there with you in spirit. Before we start, or well you start, I should say, um, I wanted to acknowledge uh, the traditional owners of the land in which you're all planning today, the Gadigal and Wongal people of the Eora Nation. And I wanted to also acknowledge the significant wisdom and leadership that has been exercised by so many in our school community, so many students, so many staff, so many parents and um, friends outside of our school who have all shared their strengths, their vision for what Aboriginal education can be in our school and in the community. And they've worked together to make a really good start on um, changing outcomes for students in our school and in the broader community. And I think that's something that we can all be, uh, you know, really proud, for, proud of, even though we've obviously got a long way to go. Um, also, I wanted to congratulate you and thank you for being so enthusiastic in um, accepting and volunteering for this wonderful uh, leadership opportunity in our school. It's a privilege to be, uh, take responsibility for or exercise responsibility in working with others in our school, other, other staff members, other students, students in our school and, and parents in our community to achieve the vision that we've set out for ourselves. It is an ambitious vision but one that we're all passionate about and all one that we believe uh, is achievable across those uh, five years. It's, you've got a big day ahead of you. There, there will be quite a lot that you need to get through, quite a lot to be achieved. Um, and, and there's probably quite a lot of learning to be done as well, learning today, but that process of learning will be an ongoing one. And it's certainly Sarah, James and mine, and also Adele, Adele's, because she's going to take um, a lead role in uh, developing you as uh, leaders of these teams as we go forward in trying to, um, or doing our best in um, taking the action that we need to collectively to ensure that our vision and our purpose for each of these strategic directions is, is realised. In your booklets, you, um, you can see the following quote. I need, just need to look at my other screen to read that out. Um, and I saw this posted on Twitter the other day from Simon Sinek. Leaders aren't responsible for the results. Leaders are responsible for the people who are responsible for the results. And I just wondered, because you, you are, uh, as the people, the, the leaders, the chairs and the co-chairs who are responsible for leading those initiatives across the three strategic directions, I wondered what that quote meant to you. It's certainly given me uh, lots of food for thought, because when I first read it, I thought leaders not responsible for the results Sure as hell, of course we're responsible for the results. But as I thought about it more and more, um, I realised what uh, Simon Sinek meant by that. But I thought now I'd just give you a few moments to reflect on, um, on that quote. What does that mean for you? What does it mean for you as leaders, co-chairs, chairs and co-chairs, leaders, co-leaders, of these very, very important initiative teams focused on achieving our, um, our vision, our purpose over the next five years. What does that quote mean to you as you embark on leadership of your teams over the next five years? <laughs> 